What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 25th jailbreak update video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Apple closing the signing window, SHSH2 blobs, downgrading, fake jailbreaks, some new tweaks, and more. Before we get started with this episode, as always, make sure you go back and watch at least the previous two episodes in this series, just so you're all caught up with everything and know everything that's already gone on in the past before watching this video. Those episodes will be down in the description below and also in the cards right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, if you guys are following me on Twitter, you already know this, but Apple stopped signing iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3 yesterday afternoon. So this shouldn't really be too surprising since they were being signed for quite a long time, a lot longer, especially 10.2.1 than expected. It's also not surprising because Apple wants to push everybody to the new Apple file system and they don't want anybody to be able to downgrade back to anything but the new Apple file system. But of course on 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5, you still are going to have HFS plus. You're not going to have the new Apple file system regardless of your software version. But anyways, because these two firmwares are no longer being signed by Apple, that means you can no longer downgrade or update to iOS 10.2.1 or 10.3 through iTunes. However, if you did save your SHSH2 blobs, which I told you guys numerous times in numerous different videos to save, then you could potentially downgrade or update to 10.2.1 or 10.3 in the future with Prometheus. Now I say the possibility of, because we don't know for sure if we're gonna be able to use these blobs to downgrade with Prometheus or not in the future. With iOS 10.2, it was pretty rare for people to actually downgrade to 10.2 successfully. And you know, I didn't wanna make a tutorial on that just because it didn't work for all devices. And some people got errors that forced them to restore and update to 10.3 or 10.3.1 now. And a big issue with downgrading is the SCP, which is the secure enclave processor. And this is basically the processor where Touch ID data is stored. And when you basically run Prometheus, it restores the SCP firmware to the latest signed version, which can of course cause issues on lower iOS firmwares. Now there are reports from people that have successfully downgraded from 10.3.1 back down to 10.2.1 or 10.2, but the developer hasn't come out and said that it's 100% you know, working right now. So I would not touch Prometheus, even if you knew how, even if you had your blob saved and everything, I would not attempt Prometheus right now. Because like I said, there are some people that are getting errors when they run Prometheus that force them to restore their device to the latest firmware. So for now, just keep your blobs in a safe place on your desktop or just do what I did. I upload them to Dropbox just so I never have to worry about them getting deleted or anything like that. And of course, I will be making a video on how to use Prometheus to downgrade with the blobs if it does come out in an easy to use fashion and if it works for multiple devices, not just one or two devices. If it works for most devices and it's a simple process, not simple, but just simpler than what it was in the past, then I will definitely be making a video on that. Now let's talk about fake jailbreaks. I hate that I even have to talk about this topic because I just completely ignore anything related to a fake jailbreak because I don't want to give the people attention that they seek. So here's a pro tip. If you don't see me tweet about a jailbreak, an upcoming jailbreak, a hint at a jailbreak or a jailbreak release, or if I don't upload a video here on YouTube, just assume that everything you see is fake. And that goes for any jailbreak reporter or YouTuber that you follow. If you don't see us tweeting about it, it's fake. And don't fall for these Twitter, you know, retweet 10,000 times and Pango will release a jailbreak. Don't fall for these fake videos showing you how to jailbreak. Anything you see on YouTube, Twitter, anywhere is fake. They're just doing it for attention and retweets and likes. Don't give them what they want. And like I said, I have my ear to the streets. I know what's going on. And if I don't mention it, that just means I'm completely ignoring it because I know it's fake and it's very obvious that it's fake. And like I said, the same goes for YouTube. No matter how many likes you see on a video, no matter how many comments you see saying, oh, it worked, thank you so much. It's called bots. You know, they can fake this stuff. So don't fall for it. Do not even search for it on YouTube. If you see it in your recommended videos, don't even click on it because it's fake. And a big reason I start my videos out with iOS 10.2.1 to 10.3.1 jailbreak is just so I can get to the top of the search results and knock the bad fakes off the top of the search results. Because if you searched iOS 10.2.1 or 10.3 jailbreak, you'll see a bunch of fakes at the top. So I'm gonna title my videos like this just so I can knock them off the top and get real information out to the people that are searching for it so they don't get scammed. So please don't think I'm trying to clickbait or anything like that. I'm actually giving you guys real news and it really is a jailbreak update on 10.2.1 and 10.3.1 but I'm also doing this to knock the fakes off the top. Anyways, let me calm down. Let's talk about tweaks now. So you guys know I've been talking about this tweak that lets you play music through a respring. So basically when you respring and if you're playing music, you won't have any pauses, your music won't stop playing or anything like that. It's called Don't Stop the Party 2. And I've actually been using it for the past day or so. It's actually just been submitted to Big Boss. So it should be here very soon within the next, maybe even today or within the next day or two. So be on the lookout for Don't Stop the Party 2. It's a great tweak that I've been wanting for a long time. Status Peak 2 is another tweak 
that has just been submitted to Big Boss and should be here very soon. And the last one I want to talk about is the substrate fix, the Yalu substrate fix that I showed in my jailbreak video, my iPhone 7 jailbreak video a couple weeks ago. It just got updated to version 2.0. This version cleans the script up a little bit and also adds support for other tweaks. And if you're having issues with Snapchat where you can't log in, don't worry, you are not alone. And don't think it has everything to do with being jailbroken either because some people that aren't even jailbroken are having the same issue. So just wait for Snapchat to kind of fix it and sort it out themselves. I've also had a lot of people ask me about a new jailbreak tweaks video and I will be releasing a new jailbreak tweaks video this weekend. So I'm going to be shooting it this week or maybe on Friday and then releasing it this weekend. So stay tuned for that. As for my Samsung Galaxy S8, I actually officially pre-ordered it yesterday and it should actually be coming in the mail a day or two before it releases to the public. So expect a ton of videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and comparing it to the iPhone 7 and just standalone videos on the S8 as well. And if you're going to get mad about that, please, you know, I, I urge you to just expand your mind a bit, you know, be a little bit more open minded and a little bit more mature about things because, you know, I've been considered an Apple fanboy for a long time as well, but I don't just hate Samsung just for the sake of hating Samsung because I like Apple. That just doesn't, you know, it seems childish to me. So please, I just urge you to, you know, open your mind a little bit on these videos and just see what else is out there. So there you have it, guys. That is the latest news in the jailbreak scene. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos. I'll have another jailbreak update video coming out next week. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.